Aloha, I'm Jay Fidel here on a Friday afternoon at 5 o'clock. And we have our very, very special five minutes at five, five at five at the World Conservation Congress um, every weekday while the Congress is going on. And our star of the show is Anu Hiddle. Uh, she is the host of our show called Climate Change Beyond Outrage, which plays on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, I think, was it? Tuesday, Wednesday. And today she's giving us a special report uh, from the Hawaii Convention Center on what's going on at the Conservation Congress. Welcome, welcome to your show, Anu. Hi, Jay. Aloha, everyone. So I'm here at the World Conservation Congress, and uh, this is day two of a 10-day conference, 9,000 people from all over the world. And today morning, this morning, what I um, really, what drove home was that uh, this is a different beast from, say, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which is what I'm used to covering. So this is different because uh, NGOs, non-governmental organizations, and governments get together, and it's not just the governments making decisions and policies for conservation. It's all of these people, really. It's citizens, members of the, the International Union for Conservation of Nature. And uh, this is a place where the global agenda is set. This was driven home to me today because very high level official, the highest in the UN system for the climate meetings, Patricia Espinosa came to uh, the IUCN and they, uh, they were on a, she was on a panel with other folks and they were really talking about climate change, but this is not just about governments talking to each other. So this, it drove home to me just how different a beast this one is. Uh, still a beast, but different. <laughs> so, so that was the first thing. Now, the other question you might ask, Jay, is what is the global agenda for conservation? Yes. And <laughs> yes, I knew you were sitting and waiting <laughs> for that one. So uh, this is something they're crafting. There are about 100 motions, a little less than that, on the floor. Starting on the 6th of September, they will start uh, talking about most of these, some of these motions. The rest have been voted on electronic, electronically. And... Um, then what I was thinking about is that, you know, so they will vote on these motions, but these motions are really quite different from what you might imagine. They're not just about nature or what you might think of as nature. So they actually include, ta-da, human beings. So <laughs> apparently we are part of nature. So, so, but this is, seriously, this has been a dichotomy amongst conservationists and uh, people who are not necessarily con conservationists in the traditional sense. Okay, so uh, really the, the International Union for Conservation of Nature includes people and they're making a big push towards uh, trying to advance the sustainable development goals that were set forward in September of last year by the United Nations. Can you give and us some examples of the motions, uh, both on the people side and on the, on the environment side? Right, I will in just a second, but what I was getting at with the Sustainable Development Goals is that goal number one says no poverty. Okay, so it doesn't, have, it doesn't come out and just say nature. It says no poverty, and that has to do with people. So this, they're really making a push to just to include, to make everyone understand that this is about everyone and not just about saving plants and animals. Okay, so for example, as I mentioned, there are motions on the floor about specific species, such as the Amur tiger or the Amur leopard in Northeast Asia. But there are also motions on the floor about uh, uh, building networks or looking at domestic markets for ivory and so on. So it really does involve people and their sustainable livelihoods. So this is something that I think is very interesting and exciting. And of course, the highlights is also, are also, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, father of biodiversity, E.O. Wilson from Harvard University was here. He just did a press conference. I have uh, questions, a couple of questions into him, so I'll be sending you some footage on that. Um, and I just barged in on a uh, private interview being taken of Jane Goodall. So I just got a photograph and nothing else, but they shooed me off after that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that, that's, uh, those, are, those are the highlights for today. And um, I would say that uh, it's been really exciting. There are many people around milling about. Uh, again, people from all continents, all, all six continents. Very, very exciting, Anu. Very exciting to have you there and to get your reports every day. We sure appreciate it. 
and we're with you in spirit and in video. Thank you so much, Anu Hiddel, who is the host of our Climate Change Beyond Outrage show during the week and who does every afternoon uh, during the continuation of the World Conservation Congress, uh, five minutes at five. Thank you so much, Anu. Aloha, namaskar, and goodbye. Aloha.